إله إلا هو المتوحد في الجلال بكمال الجمال بكمال الجمال تعظيما وتكبيرا المتفرد بتصريف الأحوال والأمور على التفصيل والإجمال تقديرا وتدبيرا المتعالي بأظمته الذي نزل الفرقان على أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ما بعد. We thank the Almighty Allah for another opportunity to be here. We are in Masjid Al Jamia in the city of Philadelphia in the state of Pennsylvania. A time with our father, our visiting noble Sheikh, for us to learn, you know, some valuable lessons. He visited us uh, exactly a month ago. And then he promised that inshallah is going to be back and almighty allah has brought him back and without taking much of your time we'll let the chef you know, begin his class and then inshallah we will help translate the message that you know the chef is for us and as you know in a class of quran like this it's very very important that we pay attention you know we concentrate so that we'll get the benefit of the lessons that you know, we're going to get from here. And in a class like this, a class of Quran in the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we don't know what kind of deed the Almighty Allah is going to use to forgive us our sins and then grant us Jannah. So without much ado, we'll let the Shaykh take over. <laughs> Mintino dami. Mintino arbainku. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين خلق كل شيء فقدره تقديره وقال في مهك من تنزيله إن كل شيء حلكناه بقدر والحمد لله الذي لم يتهز ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في الملك ولم يكن له ولي من الذل وكبره تكبيرا الله اكبر واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له سبحانه وتعالى اما يقول الظالمون علوا كبيرا واشهد ان محمدا عبد الله ورسول بعثه الله رحمة للعالمين وهجتنا على الحلق أجمعين صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وكل من تمسك بسنته وحكم بشريعته إلى يوم الدين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته يورانا ثلاثة 
wanda ya dace watan biyu na addini musulunci watan safar yau yana da kwana 27 shekara ta 1400 da shekara 45 wanda ya dace sha biyu ga watan tara shekara ta 2000 da shekara 23 Allah ya sake hada mu a wannan masallaci masjidin jami wanda ke cikin garin Philadelphia a cikin America wanda yake muna roƙon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala abin da zamu fada a cikin lokaci kadan muna roƙon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya sa albarka na we thank God and give Allah for another opportunity We thank him for his mercies that he's bestowed upon us. Today is a Tuesday, the 27th day of Safar, 1445 years after the Hijrah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which corresponds with the 12th day of September 2023. Alhamdulillah, we are in Masjid Al-Jami'ah in the city of Philadelphia. Insha'Allah, we are in the city of Philadelphia. We are in the city of Philadelphia. We are in the city of Philadelphia. domin ina ganin in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in yayi da zuwa rana alhamis shine on the 14 zan wuce zuwa New York sai sai na zo ne in sallami mutane wannan masallaci masu daraja mutane masu girma wanda yake ina roƙon Allah ya sake hada huskokin mu da su tonight's class is more of a farewell class and appreciation class to this distinguished community of Masjid al-Jami'a because inshallah on Thursday on the 14th of September I will be traveling to New York and inshallah I decided to pass by due to the respect and the honor I received from this community I need to see you one more time before I leave in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in ya yadda da yawancin rai za mu sake haduwa in kuma Allah ya kaddara wannan haduwan ba za mu sake haduwa ba to da mu da ku duka Allah ya hada mu cikin gidan aljanna rana tashin alkiyama if the almighty allah wills for us a long life span then there is a possibility that we will meet again but then if the almighty allah has decreed otherwise ours is to accept the decree of the almighty allah to dangane da aka karatu na lokaci kadan zan yi karatu ba da yawa ba saboda mu samu kalma daya ko kalma biyu Due da yake muna roƙon Allah ya amfanar da mu da kadan da za mu fadi a cikin wannan lokaci. Due to your time constraints, we won't take much of your time. We will find one or two statements that the Almighty Allah may make beneficial for us. Man asbaha wa hammuhu hammun wahidun huwa taqwa Allah qafahu Allah min humumi dunya wal akhirah. Duk mutumin da ya tashi kokarin ka shine attaqwa ya za ka yi ka samu tsoron Allah ya za ka yi ka samu kusanci da Allah idan wannan shine tunanin ka to kafahu Allah Allah ya kuma ishe ka ya wadatar da kai daga fitinan duniya da sharrin duniya da bakin cikin duniya har zuwa ranar tashin alkiyama when you wake up in the morning and the most important thing the most important agenda you have is the fear of the almighty allah then the almighty allah is going to be sufficient for you in this dunya through the trials the challenges the obstacles the pains in this dunya the almighty allah is going to be enough for you against those troubles idan ana cewa attaqwa watan kalma ne da ke nunin alaman tsoron allah amma majalisa na daiwa ma'ana fassaran su daiwa ne kalma na attaqwa wannan kalmomi na attaqwa wanda ya fassara su shine imam sayyidina ali kuma ya fassara shi yace mana attaqwa arba'ata aksa attaqwa alamomi ne guda hudu when we speak about attaqwa fear of the almighty allah god consciousness you might say it as a simple statement but then it's very vast it's very very deep and then it's very very immersed in terms of the understanding of the word Imam Ali radiyallahu anhu defines for us at-taqwa and then he classifies it into four stages. Ya ce khawfun min Allah. At-taqwa ma'ana khawfun min Allah. Shine ka ji tsoron Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
kuma tsoron Allah ko ina kake masallaci ne makaranta ne gida ne tare da iyalinka wurin aikin ka ya zama na kaman akwai tsoron Allah a cikin rayuwanka wannan shine ma'ana attaqwa the first point says the fear of the almighty Allah the consciousness of the almighty Allah wherever you find yourself whether at home whether at your shop whether in the office whether in the marketplace with your family god consciousness is the first stage kai imani kaman duk inda kake Allah na tare da kai kuma Allah yana dakun al'amarin ka to wannan shi ake ce ma khaufun min al-jalil ka ji tsoron Allah ko ina ka shiga kaka duba masallaci ne ko da ka zo ka nuna kai mai tsoron Allah ne ko wani aiki kake yi ko wani mu'amala kake ya kamata a sa tsoron Allah cikin wannan lamarin wannan shine ake cewa attaqwa having the belief that wherever you are the supervision of the almighty Allah is upon you it's not only when you are in the masjid but in every endeavor you take upon in life have this consciousness that the almighty Allah is aware of what you are doing this epitomizes attaqwa haufun min Allah nabiyu wa amalun bi tanzil da yin aiki da abin da Allah ya saukar yin aiki ba karantawa muna da bambancin karanta alqur'ani ta nan muna da bambanci kuma aiki da alqur'ani mu duka da muke masallaci nan kowa yana karanta alqur'ani amma abin da yake akwai shine aiki da alqur'ani ba wai ai ta karantawa ba wai mu zo mu ji wa'azi ba ba wannan kadai bane idan ka zo ka ji wa'azi ko ka karanci alqur'ani tsoron Allah shine kai aiki da abin da ya kunshi a cikin alqur'ani the second point is implementing the rules and regulations of the revelation all of us here read the quran but then how well do we implement the quran in our day in day out activities it's not enough for us to only read the quran but we must implement the dictates and the teachings of the quran not mere reading when we come to classes like this and then we listen we don't leave the message here we implement the message in our lives jama'a da muna aiki da abin da Allah ya saukar a cikin alqur'ani da rayuwar mu da ba haka za mu yi rayuwa ba in reality if we really implement the dictates of the quran in our lives this will not be the life that we lead it will be better off than this Allah ya ce walau annahum fa'alu ما يؤذون به لكان خيرا لهم واشد تثبيتا واذا لاتيناهم من لدنا اجرا عظيما الله تي دا متاني زامو ايكي دا ابن دا اكي كرنتا منا زامو ايكي دا ابن دا مكي سورارا لكان خيرا لهم الله تي دا شيني مفي الحيرم او ان لوكاتين الله تي زم با سو لادا دا غغريني دا سو سامو لادا دا غورينا sa'annani Allah kuma in shiryar da su zuwa ga hanya madidiciya the almighty Allah tells us in the Quran that if people will really implement the lessons and the admonitions that they receive that will have been best for them and the almighty Allah apart from that he is going to reward them with a great reward and the almighty Allah is going to guide them onto the right path kisa jama'a in ana cewa attaqwa shine amalun bi tanzil mu yi aiki to me yanzu jama'a ana dai karanta alqur'ani ne qur'ani nan ba mu aiki da shi muna jin malumai na muna wa'azi Allah ya ce kaza halali haram ba mu damu ba to idan muna son mu zamu mutane masu tsoron Allah to jama'a mu yi aiki da abin da ke cikin alqur'ani ba mu karanta qur'ani kadai ba this point teaches us the importance of implementing the dictates of the qur'an in our lives the scholars teachers they give us admonitions we go about we listen to lectures but then the most important thing is that we implement what we listen we implement what we read in our day in day activities domin kowane lokaci kake karanta alqur'ani ma'ana kana tare da Allah domin akwai abazar al-gafar ya zo wurin annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam yace ya rasulullah ausini ma'aikin Allah na zo ne inna sun kai min nasiha shi annabi ya ce mai ya abazar al-gafar alayka bi tilawati alqur'an abazar al-gafar ka kai wasa da karanta alqur'ani fa innahu nur lak fi al-ard wa zuhur lak fi as-sama do min karanta al-qur'ani in kana karantawa kana aiki da shi zai zamo maka haske ne a nan duniya 
sa anna ya zamu maka abin da za a adana maka ka zo ranar tashi alkiyama kuma Allah ya baka ladan wa'annu suka karanta qur'ani when you read the quran is like you are having a covenant with the almighty allah abu dhar al ghifari came to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said ya rasul allah advise me and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said abu dhar hold on to the quran because the quran is a light for you in this dunya it is also a treasure for you on the day of qiyamah jama'a wa'inda ke karanta alqur'ani allah na alfahari da su kuma allah na taqama da su kai kana nan dorin kasa kana nan philadelphia kana karanta alqur'ani amma allah na sama ya san da kai kuma allah na jinjina maka saboda kana karanta alqur'ani the people who read the quran are the people that the almighty allah is proud of you are here on the earth reading the quran but the almighty allah is up there above his throne he is very very pleased with what you are doing idan muka koma cikin sahabban annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam shine ubayy ibn qab ubayy ibn qab a cikin sahabban manzon allah gwani ne wurin karanta alqur'ani kuma yana karanta alqur'ani yana aiki da abin da qur'ani yace kuma yana karanta alqur'ani ana al-layl wa atraf an-nahar da safi da rana shi ubayy ibn qab bai wasa da karanta alqur'ani har ya kai allah yace ma jibrilu ya zo wurin annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam manzon allah ya tashi ya je wurin aba wurin wannan sahabi ya je ya karanta mai suratul bayyina the companions of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had a very serious relationship with the quran an example is ubayy ibn ka'ab ubayy ibn ka'ab is one of the best reciters of the quran among the sahaba he reads the quran morning afternoon evening he leaves like his leaves with the quran one day the almighty allah sent jibril alayhi salatu wasalam to tell the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to go to ubay ibn kaab and get the reading of surah al bayyina manzo allah ya zo wurin ubay ibn kaab ya ce ya ubay allah ya ce in karanta ma al qur'ani the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam goes to ubay and he says ubay the almighty allah said i should read the quran to you sai ce ya rasul ko dai abubakar da umar allah ya fadi sune sa'annan ka ce ni sai ce la allah ya kira sunan ka daga sama yace in zo in karanta ma qur'ani sai ya tambaye manzo allah wa samani allah har allah ya san ni ya kira sunana sama a karanta min qur'ani yace na'am sai ya fashe da kuka me yasa ya samu wannan daraja saboda yana karanta alqur'ani yana kuma aiki da alqur'ani the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told ubay ubay the almighty allah said i should come and read the quran to you and ubay is like ya rasul allah maybe it's abu bakar and umar because obviously they are better than me he said no the almighty allah said you ubay ibn ka he said ya rasul allah the almighty allah mentions my name the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said yes the almighty allah mentions your name and ubay ibn ka is crying is weeping because of this great achievement jama'a me sai samu haka saboda yana karanta alqur'ani yana kuma aiki da abin da ke cikin qur'ani allah ya samu samu haka what led him to such a great achievement is because he reads the quran and then he implements the dictates of the quran may the almighty allah make us amongst those people sha'anan na uku shine arida bil qalil arida bil qalil in ana cewa attaqwa na uku shine arida bil qalil kowan mutum ka yadda da kadan da allah ya baka ka kuma gode wa allah da matsayin da allah ya aje ka wannan alama ne na tsoron allah duk mutumin da ke yadda da kadan da ya shiga hannunsa duk mutumin da ke appreciate abin da allah ya bashi jama'a mutum ne mai tsoron allah mai imani allah ya samu na cikin wa'annan mutane the next point is being content being appreciative of the small that you have whatever you have is a gift from the almighty allah so you should be content you should be appreciative of what the almighty allah gives you may the almighty allah make us among those who are appreciative jama'a mu accept mu yadda da abinda allah ya ba mu ko min kankanta abinda allah ya baka idan ka gode sai allah ya kara ma suratul ibrahim aya shida wa ista'adhana rabbukum la in shakartum la adidannakum wa la in kafartum inna adhabi la shadid allah ya ba da sanarwa wai idan na baka sai ka gode tabbas allah wai zan kara maka amma idan na baka in ka butulce allah ce tabbas zan maka adhaba ranar tashin alkiyama being content with what the almighty allah has given us is very important no matter how small what you have if you are content and appreciative of what you have the almighty allah is going to give you more he states in surah ibrahim that the almighty allah has made an announcement 
whoever is appreciative of what the almighty allah has given him the almighty allah is going to give him more but whoever is ungrateful then the punishment and the chastisement of the almighty allah is very severe Allah ya ce wa annabi Musa alayhi salatu wassalam ya Musa kun wathiqan min rizqin madumun lak Allah ya ce Musa arzikin da ni Allah na riga na shirya maka shi yadda da wannan arzikin kai imani arzikin nan yana wuri na kuma zai kare ba da almighty Allah told Musa ya Musa be content with the provision that I the almighty Allah has prepared for you be content with it and then have the belief that 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 provision is never going to be lost sai sa Allah ya kiram a hadith al-Qudsi ya ibn Adam in anta radita bima qasamtuhu lak Allah ce ya dan annabi Adam in ka yadda da wanda na baka Allah ce arahtu ba arahtu badanaka na bari gangan jikinka ya huta ranan tashi al-qiyama ka zo gobe kiyama kuma in shaka al-janna The Almighty Allah tells us in Hadith Al-Qudsi, O son of Adam, if you are content of what, with what I, the Almighty Allah, has given you, your skin, your body is going to be in relaxation. And then on the day of Qiyamah, I'm going to give you Jannah. Amma wa illam tarda bima kasamtuhu lak. Amma idam baka yadada wandani alla nabaka ba. Fa wa izati wa jalali la usallatanna alayka dunya. Tarqud fiha raqadan wa hushi fil barriya. ثم لا يكون لك الا ما قسمته لك وكنت عندي مذموما ان دي بقى يد ده وانده نا باكا با الله شي نا رنس ده سراوتانا نا سكي مكا دنيا كرين كا غدو چكين دنيا كما يند دبوبي سكي غدو چكين دنيا سانن بدا كا سامو با باكي وانده ني الله نا قدرا دا كا سامو كا زو غو بي كيامو كما ني الله مكا عذابا but if you are not okay and satisfied with what the almighty Allah has given you The Almighty Allah said, "I'm going to impose the dunya upon you. You're going to run around in the dunya, same way wild animals run around in the forest, in the bush. And then at the end of the day, you will never get anything except what the Almighty Allah has decreed for you. And then you come on the day of judgment, being someone of ridicule and rebuke from the Almighty Allah, and then it's going to be a problem too." Say, Sir Jamaa, yada da abin da Allah Subhanahu wa Taala yabaka barikolum. wani na da gida wani ya sai mota wani ya gina kaza wani na da abu kaza naka kankani da Allah ya baka nan kama da hannu biyu ka gode wa Allah kama inda Allah ya muna magana a cikin alquran wala tamuddanna aynayka ila ma mata'ana bihi bari kallun abin da ni Allah na ba mutane bari kallun wannan naka da ni na baka nan kama da hannu biyu ka gode wa Allah sai Allah ya sa albarka Do not concern yourself with what other people have. This guy has a mansion, the other guy has a house, this guy has that. That makes you less appreciative of what the Almighty Allah has given you. So do not concern yourself with what other people have, but be more concerned with what the Almighty Allah has given you. And the Almighty Allah tells us in the Quran, do not peek with your eyes trying to look at what other people have. In, do in doing that, you become to less appreciate of what you have in ja annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mazo allah ya ce haslatani man kanata fihi katabahu allah shakiran sabira haslatani akwai halaye guda biyu idan an ka same ka a rayuwanka halayen ka kenan katabahu allah shakiran sabira allah zai rubuta sunanka a wurin allah shakir sabir me godiya bayan haka nan kuma mai kuma hakuri abu biyu in kana yi sunan ka wurin Allah shakiran sabira mai godiya mai hakuri Allah ya samu yi mu yi wannan ababa guda biyu there are two characteristics when they are prevalent in a person the almighty Allah records the person's name with him amongst people who are grateful and people who are patient these two characteristics When you have them the almighty Allah describes you as someone who is what who is appreciative and someone who is patient. Na farko man nadhara fi dunyahu ila man huwa dunahu fa hamidallah. Wanda ke tafiya sai ya ga cikin rayuwarsa shi ma nan Philadelphia ya fi wani. Sai kaga kama a kowane irin wahala nake sha. Kowane irin problem nake face cikin life. Sai ka duba a a ni ma na fi wani fa hamidallah. Sai kai ma Allah godiya. Kenan kai ma a rayuwa kai ma kafi wani a cikin rayuwanka. 
ko yaya kake wahala a garin nan in an ka zo an ka zauna an kai bincike ba kai ne lasu ba wallahi kai ma kafi wani Allah qara mu na imani the first characteristic is that if a person observes his life and then with all the challenges he's going through he realizes that there are people who are worse of people who are into more troubles than him and then he thanks the almighty allah even with all the challenges that he faces when you observe your life yes you're going through challenges but then when we observe you are not the last or the least of people definitely there is someone that you are better off than in the dunya balin ba ku wani kisan wani ba allah da yace shi talauci yayi mai yawa ya nemi kudi ya nemi arziki yayi aiki yayi aiki bai samu kudin ba wanda suke harakan arziki da shi duka su sun samu kudi amma shi bai samu kudi ba let's give uh, let me give you a fable concerning a man who said he's tired of the dunya he searched for money all his friends all his colleagues that they've gone out to do businesses with all of them are wealthy but then he doesn't have anything daga shi riga guda da wando guda da takalmi guda da riga gudan nan da sheke zuwa aure da sheke zuwa suna da sheke zuwa kowane irin haraka riga guda da wando guda da takalmi guda sai sa shi yana ganin talauci ya gama da shi this guy has only one shirt and only one pants and only one shoe whatever he is going to all programs to all engagements this is his only dress that he has so he feels like that is it he is at the bottomless pit of the dunya sheita shi yazo gidan sarki and he went one day to the chief of the village to she yace ma sarki na zo ne ina da shawara shawara na shine yau kusan shekara 10 ina neman arziki ban samu ba wanda ni da su muke harkan neman arziki kowa ya samu kudi da gani she riga guda wando guda da takalmi she yasa ni na zo ne sarki kai hakuri a kashe ni in mutu in ga kamar ni na fita duniya na kare da wahala this guy said oh your lordship king uh, i have i have i have an issue the issue is that i observed all my colleagues for 10 years now we all started out but then they are all well off they all have money they have luxurious homes but for me till date one shirt one pants one shoe so for me just kill me and let me die and let me be free sarki yace a ya za a kashe ka haka nan yace a ni dai ina so in mutu saboda ni na kamar rayuwa na babu amfani gara mu sarki yace kai dai je ka zauna kai tunani gobe ka komo and the king was like he was astonished why do you want to why do you want to be killed he said with all due respect i've suffered i'm tired i just want to be killed so that i go to the akhira i know i'm done the chief told him you just go and then think about it and then come back ya je wa shigari ya komo sai ce sarki ni na riga na yi shawara shawara na shine ni dai ina so in mutu a kashe ni in mutu he came back the next day he said chief i've told you i've already prepared just kill me and then let me be free sarki ya bari an ka fadi garin philadelphia da kauyen philadelphia ga wani mutum wai talauci yayi mai yawa amma ya zo ne yana so a kashe shi an ka gaya mu gari kowa ya taso an ka sa kuma rana kuma ranar da za a kashe shi kuma center da kowa zai gani let's take for another as an example the, the the mayor decides to give an announcement all the boroughs all the counties all the neighborhoods the zip codes everybody was given an invitation that this is a man who said he wants to be killed and then they decided to use the city hall the center of the city as a place where they are going to kill him jama'a rana an cika kowa ya zo everybody gathered there the whole city mutumin ga yazo an aje teburin da za a yanka shi ya haukan tebur ya kwanta the table was brought for him to be king. he himself hopped onto the table ya kwanta yace to bismillah he slay he lied on the table he said okay let's go wato in yana kwance ya ga abokin shi misali kaman bamba sai yace to bamba assalamu alaikum mun munte yan so daga baya ku zo so on the table if he sees someone that he knows he says eh hey, okay sir we are born you guys can come back late, can come later to za a yanka shi cikin jama'an da suka zo kallo sai wani ya daga hannu yana cikin mutane sai ya daga hannu da ya daga hannu shin sarki ya ce zo mu sai ya ce a sarki yi hankuri zo ina da magana da sarki ya je sai mutumin ya ce ma sarki sarki don Allah ni na zo ne mutumin gada ya ce a yanka shi na zo ne kai hankuri don Allah in kuka yanka shi ya mutu ku yi mini abu guda rigan shin nan da wandon nan da takalmin nan 
ni shi kadai nake so abin da ya kawo ni ni ma na sa wannan ni ma na shiga cikin mutane as this guy was lying down waiting to be slaughtered among the spectators who came someone lifted his finger like he drew the attention of the chief and the chief said come for it. he said no i can't come for it but can you yourself come so the chief went and then this guy said oh chief i have a request see this guy that wants to be killed i just need a request you see his shirt and then his pants and his shoes when you kill him that's what i want to shi wannan mutumin kuma da yazo ba riga jiki ba riga she wani guntun pant shi yasa she yasa ya zo ne wai in an kashe shi a ba shi wannan kayan shi yasa wannan yayi mai this guy who is speaking he didn't come with any clothes on he only came with some underwear so he his main business of the day is that when this guy is killed he is going to get some fresh set of clothing to wear because he doesn't have clothes to wear she wannan mutumin sai ya ce mu sarki sarki you are wasting the time kuna waste mean time lokaci na ku zo sarki ya ce kaka da muka mutu wani ne yake can ya ce wan muka kashe ka in ka mutu mu cire kayan mu binde ka da ganye mu cire rigan ka da wandon ka da takalmin ka mu bashi in ya so kai ka wuce she shi wannan da ke kwance she ya daga kai haka ya ga wane ne ke neman tumbe mutu ba a bashi kayan da ya daga haka she ga mutumin nan yana cikin pant sai ya ce sarki ashe ni ma na fi wani shi yana cikin pant mutum mutu wannan a barshi ban mutuwa kuma so he was lying down said oh mayor you wasted my time i'm in a hurry to go to the akhir and then you are entertaining some other stuff and then he told him this guy has a statement and he was like what is the statement he said when we kill you your shirt and your pants and your shoes that's what he wants he lifted his head up from the table and then he spied and then he saw the guy I was like whoa this guy has only some underwear on and i have a shirt and then a pants and then some shoes on and i believe i'm better off than someone he said oh chief going to the akhirah has been cancelled i'm not going anymore she said jamaa ko yaya kake duniya rayuwanka wallahi kai fa ni ka gode ma allah that is why no matter your situation and your condition you are at least better off than someone he said ka gode ma allah da inda allah ya aji ka that is why it's incumbent upon us to thank the almighty allah for the positions and the places we find ourselves in to wannan shine magana na farko wanda annabi ya ce man nadhara fi dunyahu ila man huwa dunahu fa hamid allah sai ka duba rayuwa ta duniya kai ma kafi wani sheka gode ma allah amma wa man nadhara fi dinihi ila man huwa fawqahu fa ibtada bi amma shai an ka zo wurin bangaren addini shai ka ga wani ga yafi ka iya karanta alqur'ani wani ga yafi ka iya salla sujadan shi yafi naka kyau zaman tahiyarsa yafi naka kyau in ya tsaya yana salla komin shi yafi naka kyau fakta da bihi shi ka koyi-koyi wannan ka kai hasadan shi let's not forget we are speaking about the two characteristics that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if you have these two characteristics the almighty allah is going to write you amongst those who are appreciative and those who are, who are patient and the first person is the one who looks to his life in the dunya and then he finds that he's better off than some people and then he thanks the almighty allah the second characteristic is someone that looks up someone who is better than him in the deen someone who knows the quran more than you someone who knows to pray more than you someone who knows to do better than you and then you learn from that person you 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 study that person so as to make your deen better this is the second criteria from the first hadith that we are speaking about sai sa jama'a idan an ka zo wurin bangaren addini kaga an shigo musallaci kaga yanda wani ya tsaya yana karatun fatiha mai kyau yanda kaga yayi ruku'i mai kyau kana kallo she kaga ruku'in sannan ba irin ruku'in da kake yi bane na kan nan na jaga jaga kake yi she ka kwatar da hankali sai ka kwaikwayi wannan كتبه الله شاكرا صابرا الله زي ربط سونان كشاكرا صابرا مي غوديا سانن كما مي غودي و الله so when you check in the state in the in, in the side of the deen for example you come to the masjid and then you see the way someone is in tranquility in his between in salah the way he performs his ruku you compare your ruku to his ruku you realize that no Your ruku is like a flight taking off. His ruku is a perfect ruku and then you learn from that person. If you have these two qualities, the Almighty Allah is going to put you amongst those who are appreciative and those who are patient. Jama'a, mugode ma Allah 
dukkan abin da Allah ya ba mu in ka gode ma Allah wallahi Allah ya kara maka amma kaka duba wani na da shi wani ya gina wani ya tara dola in aka je Niger ina da kaza ina da kaza no bar duban wannan naka kan kani da Allah ya ba ka nan kama da hannu biyu ka gode wa Allah sai Allah ya sa albarka cikin wannan kadan be appreciative of what you have in this dunya don't concern yourself with what other people have this guy has this and this guy has that no the small that you have when you are appreciative of it the almighty allah puts his blessings his baraka in it zamani annabi musa alayhi salatu wassalam annabi musa za shi ya gana da allah sai ga wani bawon allah zaune yayi tagumi da ya ga annabi musa sai ya biyo musa sai ya ce musa dama ina so in ganka idan ka je magana da allah ka ce ma allah ni wani lefi nayi mai garin ga kowa ya samu kudi amma ni ata bai ba mu kudi ba gashi nan wahala nake yi kurin kuma kowa na da shi amma ni allah bai ba ni ba in ka je ka gaya wa allah wani lefi nayi in ya so me yasa ne ban samu arzikin musa alayhi salatu wassalam was going to have his normal conversations with the almighty allah on his way he met a man who was sitting now with with heart with cheek in hands like this and then he said ya musa when you go and meet allah ask allah me what wrong have i done to the almighty allah that me i don't have money all my colleagues all my friends all my neighbors everybody is making it big time in this dunya but for me i'm still where i am so please have a diagnosis of the problem that i have with almighty allah and give me the necessary prescription annabi musa yana wucewa kuma shi ga wani mutum kan doki ga jama'a ana kore mutane mai arziki ne da ya ga musa shi ma shi sauko ya ce musa dama ina so in gan ka idan ka je magana da allah ka ce na ce arzikin da yake ba ni arzikin na zuwa da yawa kwarai ban san inda zan sa su ba amma ya kat ya isa haka nan kudin yayi yawa ban san inda zan sa su ba musa went along and then he met another man or a very luxurious mount with a lot of people around this man when the man saw musa he came down from his mount and then he said ya musa i have a statement when you go tell allah that the money is too much you should reduce it for me i have too much money i don't know what i'm going to do with it so he should he should cut off the supplies ban sani ba ko na philadelphia an samu wani haka when the dollar ya mai yawa i don't need the dollar maybe you can get someone here <laughs> I think you understand the statement. <laughs> no tell them. <laughs> that we, do you know anybody here in Philadelphia who is so wealthy to the extent that he says it's enough. I don't need any more money. I don't need any dollars. I don't think so. Annabi Musa ya je yayi magana da Allah sai ya kai sako. Sai Allah ya ce ma Musa idan ka koma shi na farkon nan da ya ce me yasa ne ni Allah ban ba shi arziki ce min be mai be min lefin komai ba amma yana da hali guda ne wannan halin nan ne Allah ban so yana da hasada ne hasada ne yayye mai yawa saboda wannan hasada yasa arziki ya kulle mai bai samu arzikin nan when musa met the almighty allah and then he relayed the message the almighty allah said musa you see the first guy who is complaining about money he has not done anything wrong to me his problem that is that he is too jealous and envious of other people that is the block the stumbling block of him getting money envy and jealousy in ya bar hasada ya yi kudi the day he stops being envious and jealous of what i don't mental have given to other people he is also going to make it amma na biyun kuma ka ce ma abin da yasa kudin shi ke zuwa daiwa ko min kankantan abin da na bashi yana godiya ne kullun yana gode min amma ka ce mai idan yana son arzikin ya kare arzikin ya bar zuwa ce mai ya bar gode mini ranan da ya bar gode mini wannan ranan arzikin sa ya kare for the second guy who was enough and he even says it's too much you know uh, cut off the supplies tell him that he has one quality and that is why the money keeps on coming He is always appreciative of what idol Almighty Allah is giving him. Giving him, no matter how small it is, he appreciates it, and that is the dam, that is the river that opens up for him all these monies and all these blessings. Amma inya na so arzikin ya kare, chema ya bargo de mini. If he doesn't want any more of the money, he doesn't want any more of the supplies. 
you should stop thanking me allah today he stops thanking me i'm going to block the access to the to the wealth annabi musa yazo shi na farko yace musa mene ne resource me allah ya ce musa ya ce allah ya ce in ga ya maka gaskiya kai mai hasada ne ranan da ka bar hasada kai kudi yay shuru yace gaskiya ne wallahi ni mai hasada ne amma abin da nake so nayi alkawali daga yau ni da hasada ya kare yana barin hasada ya samu arziki the first guy he said okay musa what is the diagnosis and what's the prescription and musa told him the almighty allah said you are an envious and jealous person and that's why there is a block to the access of wealth for you the guy kept quiet for some time he said musa it is true i'm a jealous and an envious person and from today onwards i have stopped being envious and jealous of what other people have and the almighty allah opened the pathway for him she said jama'a ka kai hasada game da abin da allah ya ba dan uwan ka in allah ya ba dan uwan ka arziki ka kai hasada in allah ya ba dan uwan ka ilimi ka kai hasada in allah ya ba dan uwan ka matsayi na sarauta ka kai hasada kowane irin ni'ima dan uwan ka ke ciki ka kai hasada ranan da kai hasada wannan ranan ka block neman arzikin ka domin duk mai hasada wallahi bai samu arziki a duniya allah ka raba mu da hasada that is why it's very very important that we safeguard ourselves from falling into this character trait of being envious and jealous of what other people have the moment we engage ourselves in this character trait that is going to block the successes for us is going to cut off the supplies of the world for us with all the material save got us from envy and jealousy jama'a kamu hasada domin arzikin ka allah ya riga ya ajiye maka arzikin ka abin da allah zai ba ka wannan yana nan kuma ba wanda zai kwace wannan arziki ba wanda kuma zai ce ma allah kada ya ba ka ya riga ya yi maka tsari ya riga ya tsara idan ka ga arzikin ka bai zo ba lokaci ne bai kai ba in lokacin ya kai ko ina kake allah ya bar arzikin ka ya biyo ka the truth of the matter is our provisions have already been predestined by the almighty allah it's already been arranged if you see that your sustenance is not yet in it's just that the time is not yet up when the time is up the whole mental is going to set it so it's very very important we safeguard ourselves from being envious and jealousy of what other people have allah bai manta da kai ba kowan hali kake ciki allah ya san kana nan bai manta da kai ba ya riga ya yi maka tsari kuma in rana ya kai kuma allah zai ba ka the whole mental allah is not forgetting about you The Almighty has already already prepared everything for you. It's just a matter of time. Halaktu samawati wal ard wa lam a'ay bi halkihin. Allah wa inayi sama na yi qasa. Ban gaji ba. Ban gaji da su ba. Afa yuyini radifun asukuhu ilayka kulli yaw. Kana gani wani kwata kunshin kafa kadan da mai da wani tumanto su da tankwa da albasa da zan baka. Kana gani ya fi karfi nani. Jama mu ce Allahu akbar Allahu akbar The Almighty Allah said O oh, son of Adam I the Almighty Allah created the heavens and the earth and I wasn't dazzled I wasn't puzzled I wasn't tired Do you think that a loaf of bread or a bag of rice or a bag of sugar or a tin of tomato that I Allah will give you will make me be tired No If I have created the heavens and the earth and I'm not tired you think your provision or your sustenance is going to be difficult for me Muduba aya da ke cikin suratul nuhudu aya na biyar wa ma min dabatin fil ard wannan aya kafin fasara Imam Malik bin Dinar ya zauna yana cin abinci nama abincin da yake ce akwai nama kan abincin yana cikin cin abinci sheken wa ya zo da gudu sai ya doki naman sai ya gudu Imam Malik bin Dinar sai ya bar cin abincin sai ya bi kyanwa ya je ya gani me kyanwan zai yi da nama a sheken wannan sai zai tsaya bakin rami haka yana tsaye da nama a bakin sa zuwa can sai ga maciji babba sululululu ya fito macijin kuma kafo ne bai gani da ya fito sai ya bude bakin sa haka sai kyanwan ya doki naman sai ya jefa bakin maciji maciji ya tauna sai ya koma Imam Malik bin Dinar sai ya ce subhanallah tarzuku su'uban sarki ya tabbata ga Allah kana ba maciji abinci 
fa kaifa bi man yaqulu la ilaha illa allah to ya wanda ke cewa la ilaha illa allah ka ce allah bai baka abinci ya baka abinci man imam malik ibn dinar was eating and there was some meat on the food and then a cat comes and then it snatches all of the meat of the food and the imam was surprised why would a cat come and snatch you know meat of my food so he went after the cat and from a distance he saw that a, the cat stood near a hole and then a blind snake came out of the hole and then the cat placed the meat in the mouth of the of of, of the snake and malik bin dinar said subhanallah ya allah you give food to even snakes how much more those who say la ilaha illallah if the almighty allah is giving sustenance to animals and snakes do you think the almighty allah is going to forget about you wa ma min dabatin fil ard illa ala allah rizquha wa ya'lamu mustaqarraha wa mustawda'aha kullun fi kitabin mubin ma min dabatin fil ard ba wani dabba da ke tafiya akan dorun kasa mutane ne aljannaini dabbobi ne illa ala allah rizquha mu dukkan nan arzikin mu yana wurin allah ya san inda arzikin yake ya kuma san aikin da zaka yi ka samu arzikin kowane dabba da ke kan dorun kasa allah ya san abincin da zaka ci kowane ganye bai faduwa kasa ba ce allah ya san ganyen nan in ya fadi ya san dabban da zai zo ya ci wannan ganyen allah ya yi tsari ya kare bar hasada abin da allah ba yan uwa yinka na hulmin ji allah ta sasa suratu hud that there is no creature on the surface of the earth and the creature in this verse encompasses all of us human beings animals gene kind there is none of us on this surface of the earth except the almighty allah has already prepared for us our sustenance no leaf falls from the from the from the trees we are not in fall we see all the leaves falling off all these leaves that fall off the trees the almighty allah is aware of every leaf that falls off the tree so all our sustenance has already been prepared and programmed by the almighty allah just be content and you're going to be safe ka yadda da kadan da allah ya baka sai allah ya sa maka albarka be content with the small that you have and the almighty allah is going to bless it ka ka duba wani na da shi kai hasada kana jin haushi abin da allah ya bashi kuma rabbun nan ba kai ke rabawa ba domin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ce ahum yaksimuna rahmata rabbik nahnu kasamna bainahum ma'ishatahum fil hayati dunya wa rafa'na ba'dahum fawqa al-ba'd daraja ku ke raba arziki la ala ce ni na raba arzikin daga cikin kun ga na ba wani 100000 dala daga cikin ku sai na ba wani 50000 dala na ba wani 30000 dala na ba wani 20000 dala wani 10000 dala na bashi wani 5 da kai wani ma Allah ya bashi 1 cent 1 cent Allah ya bashi duniya wani ma Allah bai bashi komai ba ya riga ya yi tsari sai sa ka kai hasadan abin da dan uwanka ke da shi kai ka gode ma Allah in ya samu kai mai addu'a kai kuma sai Allah ya baka do not be envious of what the almighty allah has given other people each and every one of us is blessed in a way some of us make 100 grand some people make 50k some people make 30 20 10 some people even do not have even a cent or a dime but then we are all living so do not be envious and jealous of what the almighty allah has given other people just be content with yours to mu je magana na biyu shi mutumin na biyu yazo Musa Musa mai Allah ya ce Allah ya ce in gaya maka kana da godiya da yawa ne amma in gaya maka ranar da ka bar godiya ran na arzikin ka ya kare when to get you speaking about two people the first guy who said there is no money the second guy who said there is too much money he wants the money to be blocked when he came Musa told him the almighty Allah said you have a quality and that quality is why the risk the sustenance is always coming which is you are always appreciative of what the almighty allah has given you sai ce musa in ja allah wai inda bar godiya ran na arziki ya kare sai ce eh sai ce to musa an ka koma wurin allah kuma ka ce ma allah na ce godiyan ban fara ba yanzu zan fara kuma godiya so this character trait of being appreciative of what the almighty allah has given him Musa told him so the almighty allah says this is what you do you always thank allah for your for for his mercies if you do not want the mercies to continue coming stop thanking allah then the mercies will stop coming the guy said musa do you know something when you go tell allah that as for thanking him i've not yet even started 
I'm not even warming up to thank you. Allah has made an announcement when we thank the Almighty Allah, He's going to give us more. May the Almighty Allah grant us more. Atakwa Musa Muku, your Soran Hudu, Shine, Atakwa, Shine, Al Istiidad, Liom Rahil, Al Istiidad, Liom Rahil, Atakwa Kina, Muduka the Muki, Masala China, Kuai Shiria, Mupurpe, Muna de Tafia, Kuyon Zoo, Ko Anjima, Kogo Bay, Dukamuntafi, Kuai Shiria. Don't forget, we are speaking about Atakwa, and we said it's four stages. The third stage is being content with what the Almighty Allah has given you. And the final stage is, let's prepare. There is a journey ahead of all of us. Maybe now or later, you don't know. There is definitely a journey ahead of us. Let's all prepare. We'll all go. Whether you like it or not, you're going to depart. ولو عاش إنسان ألفا ثم ألفين بعده فلا بد في اليوم يسير إلى القبر أباك شكرا دبو أقارمك دبو واندي قاتف. Even if you live for a thousand years and another thousand years is granted you, there is no doubt one day you live. ولو أن رب الناس أبقى نبينا سعيدنا دع الله زي برا النبي مدا منجدادي. ولكن أمره كان ماديا أما لما لي الله يا رجاء أجي كوايا موت تند كوايا موت يا كما تكوايا نمشيري سبود يا هزام جي محدود الله سبحانه وتعالى. If the Almighty Allah had left for us the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, we would be happy. But then the Almighty has already decreed that every soul is going to die. And if this is the reality, let's all prepare in meeting the Almighty Allah. Because it is inevitable. Ibn Adam, Tazawad min hayatika lil ma'adi wa kumulillah. Wajma hayra zadin. Wala tarkan ila dunya kathira fa inna al-mali jma'u lil nafadi. Atarda an takuna rafiqa qawmin lahum zadun wa anta bi ghayri zadin. Ibn Adam, Ya mu'ia an nabi Adam, Tazawad. Kowa deke na yenye miguziri lilmaadi sabo the destination mo dzamu lilmaadi wakumli la mutashi mu yaiki sabo da Allah mutara lada na guziri me yawa kamu bari America Philadelphia ishi gazuchi yanka kamanta the tafia deke gabanka oh son of Adam prepare gather the provisions for the final destination. Be steadfast with the Almighty Allah and gather good provisions for the Akhirah. Don't be deluded by the life in America and then the lifestyle in Philadelphia. Don't, make, don't let it make you forget that you have a departing point because it's inevitable. You will go. Ibn Adam. Al-Nafsu tabki ala dunya wa kada alima ta'anna salamata fiha tarkuma fiha. لا دار للمرء بعد الموت يسكن إلا التي كان قبل الموت بانيها فإن بناها بخير قاب مسكنا وإن بناها بشر هاب بانيها ابن آدم النفس تبكي على الدنيا تجمع عند مكزونا أنا والله إن كجمنا كوكا ويو على أنا إهم قلي أو صالي إهم قلي باقومي بني سبود وانا أبين الدنيا يا في تحنم أما بأديني ب أبين الدنيا إني في تحنم Kwa ya sani mnyukuka ama ba wewe morosa adini mnyukuka ba. The reality of today is that as Muslims, when we lose something in the dunya, the pain and the anguish is very very apparent. We weep, we cry because we've lost something of the dunya. How did you see us weep and cry because we've lost something of the deen? Tabarak aladhi biyadhi al-mulk. وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا خلق الموت والحياة الله يحل تموتوا درايوا ميسا ليبلوكم لأن الله يجرب تموت دعتكم من أيكم أحسن عملا 
su wada su gyara aikin su wa zai gyara aikin sa saboda tafiya saboda guziri saboda kwana cikin kabari wa zai gyara aikin sa Allah ka samu gyara aikin mu the almighty Allah created life and death as a source of test for us in terms of who is going to prepare his good deeds for the akhirah jama'a ina gani saboda babu lokaci kuma lokaci ya kai ban su in cinye muku lokaci mun tsaya kan da imam sayyidna ali yayi muna bayani fassara inna muka ce man asbaha wa hammuhu hammun wahid huwa taqwa allah idan mutun ka tashi tunanin ka kokarin ka shine at taqwa allah yanda zaka ji tsoron allah to allah ya ishe ka da sauran duk fitinan duniya da lafiyar allah ka ba mu tsoron ka due to time constraint we don't want to take much more of your time but then the lesson today is about the person who wakes up in the morning and then his number one agenda is the fear of the almighty allah and that is how imam ali explained to us what the fear of allah is going through those four points and when we have those characteristics the almighty allah is enough for us against the challenges and the obstacles and the problems of this dunya with almighty allah save us babu abin da za mu je da shi lahira da ya wuce at taqwa babu shi duk wani abin da muka tara ba abin da za mu je da shi lahira da ya wuce at taqwa mu ji tsoron allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there's nothing that is going to be beneficial to us on the day of qiyama much more better than at taqwa whatever we amass in this dunya whatever we gather whatever we have nothing is as important as at taqwa for us in meeting the almighty allah imam sayyidina ali ya je maqabira yana mana bayani assalamu alaikum ya ahl al maqabir inna amwalakum qad qusimat wa inna diyarakum qad sakanaha ghayrakum wa inna nisaakum qad tazawajna bi rijal ghayrukum hadha khabar ma indana fama khabar ma indakum assalamu alaikum ahl al maqabir inna amwalakum qad qusimat ya ku wanda kuke cikin makabira kudin ku da kuka tara filadelfia america kusimata an raba gado an raba ya kare ka wahala sanyi da wahala ka tara an raba gado ya kare imam ali when he wants to teach a lesson he goes to the graveyard with his students and then he gives them some lessons he says all you people in the graves may the peace of the almighty allah be upon you understand one thing all the monies that you suffered in philadelphia all those years through the pains of winter and through the heat of the summer you gathered all these monies working multiple hours and multiple shifts to get all this money understand one thing all those monies have been distributed when you died gidajen da kuka gina manya manya manshi gidaje komai kun gina yanzu gidan nan an raba wada suke cikin gidan ba kai ba that house that 500,000 grand house that you have all those luxurious buildings that you have now that you are dead someone else is enjoying that building matanka wani ya aure ta kuma suna kwana cikin gidanka your wife someone else has married her and they are enjoying together in your house hada habaru ma indana fama habaru ma indakum wannan shine labari mu ko gaya muna me ke faruwa cikin kabarin imam ali says oh you people in the grave this is the information we have for you from the dunya what information do you have for us from the graves sahabai suka ce mai sayyidina ali ya ya kake magana da su kaman suna gani sai ce wallahi law sha allah lahum an yataqallamu la qalu inna hayra zadina at taqwa da allah zai ba su baki su yi mini magana da sun ce inna hayra zadina at taqwa mafi al hayrin guziri shine tsoron allah the students were like imam ali we are astonished you are speaking to them as if we, they are here with us imam ali says wallahi if the almighty allah wills for them to speak from the grave the only thing they will tell us is that the best provision the best preparation anybody could ever have and come to this place with is the fear of the almighty allah ya walladhina amanu taqu allah wa la tanzuru nafsun ma qaddamat li ghadin wa taqu allah ان الله خبير بما تعملون ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فانساهم انفسهم اولئك هم الايه فاسقون يا والذين امنوا يا قوم ان كوكا ايمان تقوا الله مسلاتن نن كوا يجي جيدا يو ددري كتمبيكن كا ميكا ايكا لاهيرا كوا يتمبيكن سا 
ma kadda mace lgadi ni da kai in ka koma gida zauna kai tunani me ka aika lahira check na waka aika na waka aika lahira wanda in ka zo gobe kiyama Allah zai baka kowa ya je gida ya tambaye kansa me ya aika lahira kafin shiga ya je lahira brothers and sisters today when you go home ask yourself this simple question what investments have i made towards my akhirah what checks have i sent forth towards akhirah what provisions have i sent forth towards akhirah this is the question we should all ask ourselves muna rubu allah allah gafarta mana may almighty allah forgive us allah kuma yi tausayin mu may almighty allah have mercy on us allah sa muna cikin bayi masu tsoron allah may almighty allah put us among those who fear him muna rubu allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa inda shukar su allah ji kansu our departed brothers may almighty allah forgive them mu ma in lokacin mu ya kai allah samu cika da yi our time is up may almighty allah grant us iman muna rubu allah ya rufa asirin mu duniya da lahira may almighty allah cover our secrets in this dunya da akhirah allah ya raba mu da talauci may almighty allah save guard us from poverty ya raba mu da bashi may he save us from being indebted ya rabba mu da hasara min almighty allah sibdar us from bankruptcy ya rammu da muke haifa allah ya musa albarka min almighty allah bless our kids matan mu allah ya musa albarka min almighty allah bless our spouses allah ya zauna da mu lafiya min almighty allah grant us peace america allah ya zauna da america lafiya this our country america min almighty allah bless us with peace do abin da zai zamo fitina a cikin garin america allah ya kiyaye anything that is going to cause commotion and confusion here min almighty allah save that us from it muna rukun allah kasan mu niger da nigeria allah ba mu zaman lafiya a countries back home niger and nigeria min almighty allah save that us gana togo beni burkina faso mali duka muna rukun allah ya ba mu zaman lafiya all the four mentioned countries min almighty allah save that them kowa masallacin ga yana buka yana da bukata muna roƙon Allah kafin mu koma gida Allah ya biya mu kowa bukatan sa all of us have requests with the almighty Allah we pray that by the time we depart here the almighty Allah grant us our requests rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab an-nar wa adkhilna al-jannata ma'a al-abrar ya aziz ya ghafar ya rabbal alamin allahumma rabbana ij'al mujtama'ana hadha mujtama'al marhuman waj'al tafarruqana ba'dahu tafarruqal ma'suma wa la taj'al fina wa la minna wa la ma'ana shaqiyan wa la mahruman rabbana hab lana min azwajina wa dhurriyyatina qurrata a'yun waj'alna lil muttaqina imaman allahumma rabbana atina min ladunka rahmatan wa hayyi lana min amrina rashadan allahumma rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna min alkhasirin allahumma rabbana yaghfir li jami'il mawta almuslimin wal muslimat wal mu'minin والمؤمنات آمين. الذين شهدوا لك بالوحدانيه وبمحمد برساله وماتوا على ذلك آمين. اللهم ربنا اغفر لنا وارحمنا اذا سرنا الى ما صاروا عليه آمين. اللهم ربنا اغفر لنا وارحمنا اذا سرنا الى ما صاروا عليه آمين. اللهم ربنا ارحمنا فوق الارض آمين. اللهم ربنا ارحمنا تحت الارض آمين. اللهم ربنا ارحمنا يوم العرض عليك آمين. ربنا امنا بك وتبعنا الرسول فاكتبنا مع الشاهدين آمين. اللهم ربنا ات سيدنا محمد الوسيله والفضيله آمين. ودرجه الرفيعه العاليه وباسوا اللهم مقام المحمود الذي وعدت انك لا تفل في الميعاد وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم مع على بيوتيو ثانك يو فيري ماتش نو نيد تو ترانسليت ذات I was expecting you to come and translate. <laughs> <laughs>